India to invest $150 billion in military. In Ahmedabad, a distinguished scientist and the Director General of BrahMos Missile System Division of the DRDO, Dr. Sudhir Mishra, today said that the country would require various military equipment worth USD $150 billion in the coming years. Inviting private players to grab the opportunity by entering the defense equipment manufacturing. Mr. said that Defense Research and Development Organization is ready to share its technology with the manufacturers. Mr. who is also the CEO and the Managing Director of BrahMos Aerospace and India-Russia Joint Venture of Military of Defense, was speaking at the interactive session on the defense manufacturing organized by the Gujarat chapter of C2 here. In the next 10 years, there is a requirement of about $150 billion of military equipment for India. This is the realistic and the quite moderate figure. This is a big opportunity for the entrepreneurs, he said. According to him, USD $150 billion would be spent on manufacturing or upgrading aircraft tanks, guns and various other equipment. There are many items which are we are going to manufacture or procure. Many of them have already become a reality, such as upgradation of MAG-29 and Mirage aircraft. We are also going to procure around 500 more T-90 battle tanks in a short time, he said. Expressing concern over the overall manufacturing scenario in the country, he invited private players to consider taking up the upgradations of the production of defense requirement or equipment. And also he said, in our country, the contribution of manufacturing sector in GDP is 18% for the last 7 to 8 years, while the contribution of service sector is 65%. This anomaly, the manufacturing should be around 35 to 40% and the service sector has to be 15 to 25%. And Mr. said, at present we want 6 to 7% of global software market, but now we cannot grow beyond this as we mostly carry out outsourcing and low-end software jobs. That is why the new government at the center came up with Make in India. Now we are trying to catch up. Diadevo is ready to share the technology as we alone cannot do it. Private and entrepreneur players can take the technology from us and develop it for the market. You can approach us and start manufacturing, he added while addressing abiding entrepreneurs from his sector. As Modi's Make in India is progressing, in New Delhi, the Sweden SAB will tie up with India's Adani Group to bid for a contract to make the fighter aircraft in India. A chief executive said on Friday, bidding it against Lockheed Martin in a race to equip India's Air Force with new jets. SAB is offering its Gryphon fighter aircraft and US defense contractor Lockheed Martin its F-16 to supply hundreds of aircrafts that India's Air Force says it needs to replace its Soviet era fleet. 
Saab and Lockheed have both offered to build a single-engine aircraft locally to comply with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's signature Make in India initiative to cut imports and build the domestic defense industries. Ken Baski. Saab CEO told reporters in New Delhi that the company would invest billions of dollars if it won the orders and that it was prepared to export the Gripen from India if the governments allowed it to do so. Saab and Adani have yet to decide on a location for manufacturing, Baski said. The Lockheed Martin is also proposing to manufacture F 16s in India for export. Our plan in India are to create a new defense ecosystem that will involve many partners, vendors, and suppliers. The Gautam Adani, the chairman of $12 billion Adani Group, with businesses ranging from energy and logistic to real estate but little present in the defense, said that it planned to manufacture a number of aerospace defense products with SAP but gave to no details. Under India's new strategic partnership defense policies, a foreign aircraft maker must collaborate with an Indian firm to develop a world-class indigenous aeronautical base that had India has struggled to build for decades. Lockheed has already picked India's Tata Advanced System as its local partner to produce F-16s that will compete for the contract with Saab's Gripen. Indian government will issue a formal request to Lockheed and Saab over the next few days to provide information about their plans to design, develop and produce combat jets in India, a government official told to Reuters earlier this week. Defense analysis says the competition is between Lockheed and Saab, the only firms that have announced joint ventures with Indian companies and a pledge to build locally if they win. Foreign defense manufacturers are looking to the South Asian countries as one of the most promising markets for weapons in coming decade, with India predicted to spend $250 billion to modernize its military. India signed a deal in September last year to buy 36 twin-engine Rafale fighters jets from France Dassault Aviation for around $8.7 billion, the country's first major acquisition of combat planes in two decades. Indian Air Force official have won for years of major capabilities gap opening in with China and Pakistan without a new state of art planes. So what do you think of India boosting $150 billion in coming years for its military and its air force and its different systems? Post your comments below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching this is WC Daily. Think big. Think different. Bye.